Hello again players, this is your GM XRising speaking today, and I am here to give you a quick look into the user interface of Shadowland Online. Let's start at the top here and take a look at your gold coins. Gold coins are primarily used for upgrades and for purchasing different kinds of equipment. To the right you will see food, which can be grown and harvested outside of the town and sold at the market. Next to that is your military forces, which will be a standard 1000 when you start off, but when you hit town hall level 10 you'll have to start drafting your own soldiers. After that is your battle achievements which you can earn through NPC battles, as well as turning in for promotion at the town hall. Next you have your prestige. A large amount of prestige means higher wages from the town hall as well. And lastly we have cash gift and diamonds which can be used to expedite many of the features in our game. And cash gift can be earned from newbie gift code redemption and also from events and diamonds can be used from charging your credit card. Next we will be looking at the cooldown bars. Shadowland Online does employ a accumulated cooldown system in which performing certain functions will set a timer into effect. For example, as such, upgrading the town hall. Yes, I will grain a granary at level 15, but I will also have a cooldown at the very left which will be increased with the upgrade of my newly acquired granary as well. If ever you feel like the cooldowns are getting a little bit too tedious for you, just go ahead and pop on some jams on YouTube. Next is our sound on and sound off button located conveniently in our player chat box. And this whole chat box here has multiple channels as you can see. The first channel, the world channel, can be used for broadcasting messages for all currently online players to view. The next channel is for filtering those who are speaking from your country, depending on if you're in Salvatorium or Vigilia or Cavio. To the right of that is your Alliance tab, and that's where you can talk to fellow Alliance members depending on if you want to just socialize or if you want to go conquer a stronghold. The Team tab is for those who are participating together in a Legion stronghold battle. And lastly, the Private tab is used for viewing private messages between players. You can use that little menu at the left to easily communicate between the channels. Next, let's take a look at the Alliance icon at the very bottom. Alliances are like guilds and clans in Shadowland Online, and here you can sort through the various lists of people who have made alliances already. And you can apply for one if it catches your eye. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your army icon, which will display the various skills and statistics of a specific hero that you select. You can also choose to fix your formations, or place equipments, or hire heroes that you have recruited for your army. Next is the rankings page, in which you can view the first 56 pages of the top ranking players from all over the world, no matter what nation they're from. Next icon is the blacksmith icon, which gives you easy access to the blacksmith, whether you're in a Gate of Ages instance or a Legion Stronghold battle. Next up is your mailbox, in which you can view received mail or write a message if you would like to send one to another player. Next is your task icon, where you can view completed tasks or tasks that you have yet to fulfill, including daily tasks, which will open up at Town Hall level 30. Last item on the menu is the recharge icon, which will take you directly back to our website in case you would like to charge your diamonds. The flaming blue sphere here is the portal icon, and it will lead you directly back to the last Gate of Ages instance you were fighting in. You can click on it again to return to town, or click the town icon at the far right. And of course, you can always access your last instance by clicking on the Gate of Ages. Above your town icon, you will see the outside town icon. Venturing outside of town will allow you to grow and harvest crops, mine gold at the gold mines, draft soldiers at the village, and go on expeditions. Clicking on the region icon will allow you to view the capital, strongholds, and castles of other players. Players will appear on this map once they have hit town hall level 10, and you can click on any of the castles to steal crops or claim them as a subordinate. Toggling the eye icon in the region map will display the names of all players and their castles around you. Red players means that they have been conquered by a subordinate, while white players means that they have yet to be conquered. Last icon on the right is your world icon, in which you can view the towns of the country that you're in. Players who have chosen a nation at Town Hall level 10 will automatically be moved to a specified city. However, when they do reach Town Hall level 30, they have the option of choosing other towns to move to as well. Last thing you should note is the eye icon at the top left here. If you toggle it on and off, you will be able to view the levels of each of your buildings. And that's the user interface for you. 